Good morning. This is the weekend update for Buy Sell Short for Monday, January 21st. Hope everyone had a very relaxing weekend. Markets closed, of course, today for Martin Luther King Day. Uh, actually, you know, a, a pretty bullish session on Friday, considering that we had a long weekend and the market actually closed with some decent sized strength. We still have a lot of uncertainty out there, a lot of hesitation by a lot of traders, and you can tell that by really the lack of movement in a lot of the speculative stocks, but the larger caps, small caps, as shown by the Russell 2K index, continue to attract buyers all-time highs uh, almost every day this past week. Looking at the 15-minute chart, you can see we've really been in the same slow and steady climb uh, really over the last two weeks with the market continuing to just ebb ever higher. All the indicators look good. Um, we look bullish going into tomorrow. One thing from Friday's numbers, what we're seeing in the market right now is probably in large part to do to Apple right now, a hesitation to move into a lot of technology stocks. If you look at the NYSE, it's doing very much, very much, a lot better than what the technology NASDAQ has been doing. New highs on Friday and the NYSE were 90 to 1. I think it was 500 plus new highs to 40 or something new lows. Very, very bullish out there. I've seen that noted in a couple of other uh, market commentators talking really about the strength that's out there in non-technology stocks. And again, you know, Apple is the big driver of that. That could change on Wednesday when Apple reports their earnings for the last quarter going to depend a lot on the guidance. We are either going to see Apple down or up 50 points come Thursday morning or Wednesday after hours. So all eyes probably going to be focused on that this week. As for the daily chart, we're actually going to start off here is a 10-year chart. And wow, what a change. I mean, this was three months after Obama got sworn in and here we are 50 well, actually a hundred percent higher uh you know i remember back here when i said that a democrat president was very very bullish for the stock market and people laughed at me i gave the stats going back a hundred years and you know the naysayers who will not believe anything you tell them will say it was the fed it was what we really don't care about the reasons the market is up a hundred percent under a democratic president Let's see if the second term uh, follows suit and we see Dow 20K uh, in four years' time. But as for the 10-year chart, you can see we are right at the breakout, 13.3 or 6.61. Next target is the all-time highs at 14.198. And again, I find it hard to believe that we're going to get this close to these highs. I mean, 500 points is a good week in the market without us trying to test this level. Some positive news came out late last week. Uh, the Republicans are looking to kick the can down the road for three months, uh, extend the debt ceiling for another three months. So I, I view that as bullish for the market right now, and it gives us a reason to continue this rally into February and March before the chatter picks up. Again, it's going to depend a lot on the earnings reports that come out, but the market's been kind of shaking off bad earnings reports, so there is definitely a bullish bias in this market right now, and I do not believe it is going to end anytime soon. What we want to see this week is the money flow back into the speculative stocks, and you know that's what we're going to be keeping a strong eye on. Russell, as I mentioned, continued its nice breakout. It's overbought, but as we know, just like oversold markets can become more oversold, overbought markets can become more overbought. Simple as that. Let's jump into some stock plays, though. ASTM. We jumped into this one a couple of days ago. Uh, laggard stem cell stock did the typical dip and rip that we went over in the last video, wherein the stock breaks out and then falls all the way below the trend line and support and shakes everyone out. And the last two days, this stock has pretty much done exactly what Novotel did for us. Recall when we jumped into Novotel, dipped for a couple of days, looked really, really bad going into that Friday, and then it ended up throwing in a 30% move. I believe we are going to see a similar setup here on ASTM. As you can see, volume has been very, very high 
over the last couple of sessions. So whatever sellers are in the stock are getting pushed aside. The weekends should have scalped out that jumped into that uh, pop the other day. 140, 141 break again should set us free for a very nice move. Now, the stemmers got a little bit of a bid action late on Friday. There was some chatter rolling around about uh, stem, the Supreme Court not taking up a stem cell bill that was bullish for the stem cell stock, but that was a week old. Uh, the news may not be out there. I actually didn't know it myself, so that could give the stem cell stock somewhat of a boost this week. And actually, one of the... Oh, ATHX on Friday it was actually trading uh, 127 to 130 in after hours on Friday. I didn't see any news out there, but you know someone was buying it up. So let's see what this week week brings us. That 200-day moving average at 133, a break of that, and we are off to the races. And this is a steeply undervalued stem cell play, in my opinion. They've got a lot of pokers in the fire. Uh, you've seen a lot of chatter about the diet drug. Companies Arna, VVUS, these guys also have a diet drug in development with Pfizer. So keep that in mind. They've got uh, a lot of things ongoing right now, and I really think their pipeline is excellent. Could be a very, very nice week for these stem cell stock plays. DRRX, we have been watching this stock for the last month, waiting for this breakout, and Friday it came. And we actually closed pretty strongly. We got as high as uh, 108, 109. Some of the weekend flippers came into the stock and then they painted it at 103. Irregardless, this chart looks very, very nice for a gap fill move up to the 130, 133 level. 110 should bring the chasers in on Monday. The chart looks great. The volume was fantastic on Friday. Indicators look very, very good. Stochastics held the 50 level, busting up. We have positive money flow on Friday. Unbounced volume is ticking up. Just a very, very strong chart that could see a nice 25-30% move early this week. A little biotech stock to keep an eye on. GNVC, very low volume play, but nice little breakout move. This price point has been doing very, very well. 160 could bring the chasers in here. And as you can see, this low float, low volume stock likes to spike when it has an excuse. And the 200 day moving average at 193 is calling. Very strong support at the 20 day exponential. Very nice chart. Uh, something could be brewing here. Got a uh, nice little volume increase on this one on Friday out of the blue. So perhaps we're looking at some positive news got leaked and definitely one to keep an eye on this week. KIPS. Big volume spike on Thursday. Uh, a lot of Twitter chatter, a lot of pumping. Friday sort of stalled, but the volume was very good. The Twitter poppers or posters disappeared as they always do. They're only long the stocks when they're green. When they dip, they're MIA or they sold the tops or some other nonsense. I like this chart. It reminds me a lot of PURE. Uh, TXCC. Remember, no one wanted to buy these stocks when we were in them. We sat patiently as they cooked, and then they went boom. This was what TUCC did. P-U-R-E. Same thing. You know, we sat on it waiting, waiting. Boom, she went. So, Kips, exact same scenario, what I am looking for. It's probably going to take a break through the 20-day at 75 cents to bring the chasers back in and the poster saying they're still long it, but the target remains a move to the 50-day moving average, which is a dollar, and that's a nice 40% upside potential here. Uh, you know, and we're trading at multi-year lows with uh, minimal downside risk, I see, considering the upside potential we have. RSI has curled up through 30 Stochastics has finally broken that resistance level and on bounce volume, you can see it is starting to spike higher. These are all bullish lagging indicators for this stock, suggesting that this stock is very, very close to a big up move. Retailer stocks, all of a sudden, there's a couple of them actually on the pop scan list that I sent out this morning are starting to wake up. PUSN, rule of two play, Actually got some late day strength on Friday, closed right at the 204 break. Would not take much for this stock to see 240. Very, very strong. I would be looking to add to this one on any dips on Tuesday uh, under two, but very, very strong. Uh, on bounce volume, stochastics look really good, and this 
stock, you know, has been consolidating over the last week above its 200-day moving average, and Friday started that move, and the breakthrough, too, could be a nice week for this one. Quick mention on STEM, the other little STEM cell play. We have a nice flag set up here. The breakout, 177, 180. As you can see, all the indicators have just gone to sleep. Volume has dropped off as the flag has developed. But as I've noted before, this stock, whenever it develops a flag, likes to break out. RSI, as I said, has uh, consolidated. Stochastics slowly coming down as well. This could be the week for STEM to go on one of those big little moves. I'd love to see us get a spike up to that 2210 area this week. So that's it for the update. Uh, definitely check out the pop scan list. Uh, there's some very interesting setups. We've got some nice plays going into this week as well. And enjoy uh, having Monday off. Back to work tomorrow. And hopefully we're going to see some of the speculative money move into the micro cap stocks. And we'll take it from there. So if you've got any questions, uh, any concerns, any issues, uh, just shoot me an email, guys. I'm here to help. So... Don't be sitting there wondering what to do, what stocks to play, how to change whatever strategy you have. Shoot me an email. I am here to help. Uh, feedback, buy, sell, short.com, and I will see you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Goodbye.